Okay, so we're going to go back to um, ridiculous side control attacks. So um, this works. Um, it doesn't look like it should. It really does. Okay, so I've gone to my uh, everything wrong side control. Yeah, one of the reasons why I do this is because it's an instant um, Kimura defense and it's an instant armbar defense. Yeah, I mean, if if Graham takes the armbar, say he manages to get his arm in there and he steps his foot over, this is an instant armbar defense, right? It's, it's really old school, but it really works. As he tries to put his other foot over, there's something there to catch it, okay? Something there to catch it. Now, as he tries to apply the armbar, I just lift that over my head. All right? It works really well for Kimura as well. Obviously, I'm going to go through these at some point, but... One of the reasons why I sit here like this is because even though the arm's pretty well defended, I know that if he gets at anything with a bit of a surprise, then uh, I've got something here. Now, we've looked at grabbing the head and what that can bring me back to guard. One of the most surprising things that I've learned is that if he moves, if he moves his head a bit further down and starts to work down here, then I can do a whizzer, all right? Uh, so if I go over the top and grab this as a whizzer, not try and get his hand up his jumper. Yeah. What I can do now is if I go flat to my back and I start moving my hips out, it actually starts in Americana. Now he walks at, all right? He walks at, but it really shocks him, okay? Because it is an Americana. His, his, his arms lined up against my um, back and head and I'm twisting his shoulder. But in reality, what, what I need him to do at this point is as I turn my hips, he'll drag his arm out at some point, okay? He has to drag his arm out. This hand comes up the side of his neck. All right. When he drags the arm out the side of the neck, I'm trying to put my thumb on the back of his neck. Once he puts the thumb on the back of his neck, I'm going to go straight in here to my darts. All right. Literally from here, if I lift both knees and squeeze, I get the tap. Or I can roll him. All right. And finish it in a decent way. Yeah. At the very least, I'm going to get to the C grip for like the Japanese necktie and be able to sweep him. The more violently he pulls the arms out as they move the hips, the easier the arm drives in. So, uh, try to the side. Okay. So, I'm lying on my back, doing my back to him. He's doing slightly my Kimura defense and armbar defense. His head moves slightly further down. I just go over and I grab this with a wizard and I go up the top. I'm going to take my hips back to the ground and I start walking my hips away. That's the Americana there. He's just tapped there. He won't tap in reality. What he will do is he'll drag his arm out and force his way forward. I keep turning my hips, keep turning my hips until my thumb lands on the back of his neck. Notice how I'm popping my hips up and driving everything in this direction. Once I feel my thumb is pointing on the back of his neck, I know I can finish that dance. I know I can get in there. My ear goes to the shoulder, my hand goes to the neck. I'm going to lift both knees and I'm going to squeeze. All right, and then get the tap. If not, I'll definitely get the sweep over there. If he's strong or he's got massive shoulders, I'll get to here and I won't be able to get my thumb to the back of his neck. All right? If I don't feel the thumb to the back of his neck, I know I haven't got the dance. But what I have got is I've got a C grip by grabbing over the top and I put the elbow on the back of his head. All right? Now I've got a really good way of being able to pull him toward me over the place where he can outpost and turn him over. Now I've got my darts. Okay, so it's really sneaky. It's a bit like it's a bit like the ghost, but um, but it's not. 